And now for our final and most prestigious award, the Lifetime Achievement Award. And the winner is Mario Gomez, Executive Director of Beta Diversidad and Codema. Mario has been working in marine conservation and marine protected areas in Mexico for a very long time and has been associated with one of the most successful no-take areas and largest in the world, Ravia Hejedo, which is around the Ravia Archipelago in the Pacific. Vivian Evans caught up with Mario in Mexico to find out more about his life in conservation. Uh, so Mario, a huge congratulations to you for winning the 2022 Lifetime Achievement Ocean Awards. Vivian, first of all, I would like to, to thank Boat International and Blue Marine Foundation for this beautiful Ocean Award. Receiving the Ocean Award is an honor for myself, but also a big recognition to my team. Now, Mario, you and your team have been involved in creating the largest marine protected area in North America and in Mexico. Revere Hijedo National Park. Can you paint us a picture of what the marine life is like in that area? Well, being in Revere Hijedo, it's spectacular. It's, a, it's an amazing place to visit. Uh, Revere Hijedo is a paradise in terms of uh, biodiversity. And you can see spectacular numbers of um, hammerheads, uh, silky sharks, uh, blue sharks, macro sharks, uh, black tips. We have nine whales, great whales. This is the only place in the world where you can find nine whales at a time. So from blue whales, fin whales, humpback whales, gray whales, uh, brutus whales, etc., sperm whales, we have all of the whales. You find everything, yellow tails, yellow fins, uh, but in big, big numbers. Could you take us back to the beginning? How did this all start for you and, and what led you to pursue this as a career? I was born very close to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, to the, the Gulf of Mexico it was impacted by the time I was young, by 75, when I was uh, around the area, most of the, of the ocean in the Gulf of Mexico was depleted. So we lost 80% uh, of the fish that were close to the shore, and that was Mainly, the main reason was shrimp, in, shrimp fishing. So all the trawlers that were fishing in that region, they really destroyed everything. So it's a, it's a notion that was really very productive and not now. So seeing this provoked in me the necessity of, uh, and also in the rainforest, because I started in the rainforest. But as I saw that no one was doing conservation in the oceans, I jump into 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 marine into designing marine protected areas. The Mexican system of marine protected areas has to be redone because the, the, all the areas are really very small, and most of them were allowing fishing industry to be inside the area. So there was no reason to be um, for for them to be a marine protected areas. Fishing industry was inside of them. So now what we have is. Uh, we were enlarging the, the marine protected areas. We're really getting them on a much bigger size, and uh, and they are highly and fully protected. And highly means that you can fish like probably artisanal fishermen can do their work, uh, as well as sport fishing and tourism activities, but not fishing industry. So when fishing industry is banned from the area. Uh, that it has a, a no-take zone for fishing industries when it's called highly and fully protected. So Revilla Gijedo is quite a big example of that. Now the the, the strategy is to, to go for enlarged, uh, I mean, for big, big MPAs and uh, highly and fully protected preferably. I'm sure your journey has, has not been smooth sailing. What's been the hardest thing for you to overcome? Well, probably to convince fishing industry and fishing authorities that this is a need for all for for everybody so that's it's it's going to be an obstacle for the rest of my life because they will never be satisfied on losing uh, their fishing waters 
one of the biggest obstacles is to inform the, the people, everyone uh, in the world, what it's really happening. Banning fishing in, in such a large area must have just been, you know, an enormous task. How did you achieve that? Well, you, you have to talk to everyone. You're a chess player. Well, if I wasn't, you have to become a chess player. And you need to, to, to reach agreements with everybody. Uh, uh, negotiating, it's not easy. So uh, negotiating with everybody, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of, a, it's very complex. If you had one message for the fishing industry, what would that be? Fish for the long term, don't fish for today. Fish for tomorrow. Your, your companies will be alive tomorrow if you understand the message of a marine protected area, the value of it. You've been involved in numerous, the creation of numerous marine protected areas. Um, you've dedicated so much of your life to this. But what is, what is next for you now? To work, uh, just to, to do one more designation uh, of... I'm, I'm trying to, to do a designation of the Sea of Cortez and the West Pacific of Baja California Sur uh, waters. And with this one, uh, I think we have achieved an important goal. Uh, and later probably create a Mexican marine corridor that will be accompanied also by another protected uh, area that is Islas Marias. If we can establish that uh, Mexican marine corridor and add it to the East Tropical Pacific, it would be a glorious uh, achievement. I think that uh, there are now, there are lots of leaders uh, in the conservation world. Uh, leaders need to create more leaders, not followers. And there is a, a, an enormous amount of people studying right now in universities around the world. Uh, and they have the opportunity to get linked with NGOs, with, um, with science, with um, tourism activities, uh, everything that's related to the ocean. And, and they need to, to get involved in there. Uh, also, the people that are, uh, they, can, they can go to, to communication companies to do social media. Social media now is really very easy to do. And, uh, and you don't have to go even to a, to, a, to, a, to a company. You can do it by yourself. So let's convince the world uh, that there is a need to preserve the oceans of the planet. There's only one ocean, by the way. Uh, many oceans connected, and we have only one ocean. We need more NGOs. We need more everything, no? Mario Gomez, congratulations again for winning this award. It's such an enormous achievement. Thank you so much for your time today, and I really look forward to seeing what you achieve next. Well, Vivian, thank, thank you very much to you all. Thanks again to, to Boat International, to Blue Marine Foundation, and this Ocean Award is given to... To, to myself, but uh, I believe it belongs to the team and to all the people that have been working along with us in, in, in this process of uh, being related with the Mexican Ocean since the decade of the 80s or probably 70s also now.